Lee. Lee just doesn't take a tower here, it was the minion. But because that Midlane has me. priority, and bot lane does as well, which is obviously afforded by the Syndra pick, can frequently find it. They're looking to go for this dragon, but Singularity walking into contest. Yeah, Scoot's gonna get caught out by the hook. The kick follows up and Scoot goes down. First blood. Joy Kim taking some damage though. That's gonna be the turnaround here. Like Lily gone. jumps in. Legions is gonna try and secure the dragon, but <laughs> even beyond the death. grave, Scoot cannot be outsmited. And that's the thing, you engage under the Carthus, and he's still gonna be putting out damage. Oh, oh Ryo, good, good hook there. Only you can't get the execution Just leave off. Him. Don't touch him. But Ryo was the last to hit him, so... No, nearly wants it. Him. Nearly teleported. He earned this. <laughs> Actually teleporting back to the top side to make sure they don't lose a new farm. Keep farming up. Try and find a wide map space with the 1-2-1. One, one. But actually, they're looking for something. Yeah, only he's already been caught out. Forced to flash away the hook. Lands onto Joy. Kim Legions gets a two-man last breath. The Zonyas gets used as the True Shot Barrage is dodged away. Down reigns the Requiem. And down goes a double kill. Easy pickups across the centre here. Singularity are running away with the fight. But Legions able to turn it back around. The trade-off is you lose Dragon on the bot side. You would lose his tower mid, but Joachim's coming in for a flank. Yeah, he's trying to find that flank. Ryo's going to take out the turret before they can do anything. And Legion's dodging away on the true shot barrage by using the last breath. But Ryo is turning it back around. Ryo is able to hold his life for the moment as Ryo will take down Joachim. Finds himself another one. Now the Hextech Ultimatum. They do finally oh, get no. it, but in comes the Requiem. And it's a three for one, three for two in favor of the side of Singularity. Really powerful, really hard to deal with. Joe Kim, a little bit lost on the map, falls behind in farm, tries to make well, plays. He, he wasn't lost on the map, he just wasn't on the map. Yeah, well, that's He was great cool. screening all game. Jumps in, execute will come down. And I didn't gone. even see him go, actually. I think he died quicker than I could bot there. The Singularity are literally just farming stats at this point. What I will say is this was a pretty clean Singularity game. Like, obviously no game's really flawless, but... This was definitely more convincing than their previous games they've had for the past, for the past week. Our dive potentially going to come in here. Yeah, they're looking for it. You can see Yike is waiting in the wings. Been spotted out already. That's going to be the knockup. That's going to be an easy kill. And now Yike, he may just get followed up on two here. Scoot is going to take a lot of tower shots, and they oh, don't an even turn it around. Well. The execute is huge. Now, meanwhile, bot lane, Murphs gets for himself a lot of damage off the flay. Is going to slow Vayu. Ryo's been able to make some distance between them, and now Ryo's looking just to turn this around. Hill's been used by Merv. He's got the Infernum, but Ryo's just going to flash forward, tries to get himself a little bit more, and Axe is standing in the middle of Truth 2. Finds himself a hook. Merv answers back out with the Infernum. Going to find himself a double kill. Nice and easy. They're trying to get mid-priority, lean over to the top side of the map where the Herald is, and get control of that vision. We've actually connected some Murbs here. Instantly interrupted. That was an insane steadfast presence by PlayStation. And now Yike getting jumped onto by Scood. Scood trying to put that damage in, gets himself the kick, flash off, the dunk, the flash away. Yike is ignited and Bayou takes him down. Potentially, that's not a Spellbinder. Could be Spellbinder, could be Rabadons. Normally you just pick up the Phoenix Codex for the CDR. Uh... Oh my lord, Chris gonna got jumped. Axis? I see the box here, the flag and drag onto twos. That's a shutdown picked up by Krogson. Did have to use that shockwave, but he's looking to come through to try and get something onto Axis and to Yike. Flay back and just a massive misplay by Hybrid. Murbs is also getting poked out by Rai. Yeah, not sure what the game plan was there. I mean, a Q, a Q. Rai? Rai's just found Murbs! That hadn't been available. Mimo Scoot gets himself the kick off. They're going to find themselves a charm. An instant kill onto Priskinet. Murbs has to try and kite away from Vayu, but everybody else is chasing him down. The turret has been put out, and that's a double kill for Rai. This Baron is suddenly disappearing. It's like hybrid. They just need to do something, because the wave is going to be pushing up in that bot side. So they need to do something about this Baron nice and quick. It looks like now the call is just to start it up. It will go down very quickly here to hybrid. It's the true shot barrage thrown out to Scout. Krogson has now got that shockwave. It's all or nothing here for the side of Hybrid. Singularity, they can afford to buy some time here. Skakan has to go golden, has got the Hemo Plague, gets Yike in there for the moment. It's going 
going to see into the blood pool they go. They found themselves one. Baron's going to get another one. Moonlight Vigil for a double kill. The teleports are coming in. Looks like just a matter of stopping the bases is the key thing. Scoot gets the kick flash off, but Mervs is able to kite it away for the moment. Now they're trying to teleport backwards, trying to see if they can get one out. As almost able to get the shutdown. Mervs trying to do something. Krogson inside the base is taking out these towers like they are nothing. Mervs tries to turn it around as the Scoot does get a lot of damage, but Rise got himself a triple kill and he's looking for the Quadra. Mervs gets himself a rampage as he's trying to get the damage out to Rai, unable to find it. And that's the artificial Quadra picked up for Rai. That's coming up soon. Piskunet's made his, up, his way in as well. Now it looks like he's look, looking to start up the Dragon. Already lost one-fourth of its health and it is actually melting here. Rai's just running towards the base. He's looking for Priskinet and Priskinet gets deleted. Rai's just going to end the game right here. I don't think anything can happen. No, Mertz has got himself the ability to clear these waves. If he can get the Elder, he might be able to find this fight versus PlayStation. He has himself the Elder Drake and the team fight is on. Kakan wants to take out Scoot as quick as possible. True Shot Barrage goes a little bit wide. Hammer to follow. They're getting the, the back up. Get Rice just looking for the Nexus. He's just looking for the game. Mervs can't do it in time. Hybrid get caught sleeping and taken down.